All right, so tonight we are going to do um, taco night. And these are some of the things I like to get. Ooh, I already started to cut that. I'm gonna make some guacamole. I'll show you a quick and easy way to make some guacamole with an avocado, light sour cream, mm. onion powder, and garlic powder. We've never done this night before. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also yeah. gonna make some um, um, taco meat just with 93% lean beef, and then I literally just use um, one of the uh, flavoring pouches. If you don't have a flavoring pouch, you can use um, ground cumin, um, okay. garlic, and onion powder, and um, and you can, and then so a little bit of salt and pepper, and th that's essentially what this pack is. Um, I have, these are some flour tortillas for Margie. My favorites are the um, little street tacos that are corn tortillas. I have some of those as well. And I also get some of these corn tortillas. If you look, two shells are 130 um, calories, so that's not too bad either. Black beans, these are my favorite chips. This is why I like them so much. They're really light and crispy. And 21 chips are only 140 calories. So, and there's not a ton of carbs. What is that? 19 grams of carbs. So you could actually just have 10 chips and you wouldn't be doing too, too bad. So, oh, and this is also, I'm showing y'all my favorite. This is also my favorite salsa. And also, I have my apron on now. Perfect. Sweet pea. All right, Ladybug, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay. So, I first want to make the guacamole. So, the way that I do that is I cut all around the avocado, and you have your little seed. This is the best way. Hang on one second, baby. How you take it out? You take your knife, and you go. Woo! Well, that's one way to get it. And then, where's my little spoon? Hand me this spoon, baby. That spoon. All righty. I love those chips. And then you just scoop yeah, out. Yeah, can I have a little bit? Yes, you can have a little bit. You scoop this out into your bowl. One second. You can have a little. Now, you can eat your avocado just literally. You can take it like this and just slice it and add a little salt to it. You can do that. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you can do that. Or you want a little bit of avocado, baby? There you go. Let's see. It's avocado, Yeah, it's just avocado. There you go. You like it? Don't put it back in the bowl if you don't like it that way. I think she likes it better with stuff in it. Okay, so what I do is I put the avocado in. I need chips. And then I just add in like a little dollop of um, sour cream. Not everybody adds sour cream. I do. You can add, I just put a little couple of shakes. And make sure you grab these chips. Of these garlic awesome. powder. I put a couple of little shakes of onion powder. I just kind of do it to taste. And then literally I just mix it all, kind of smush it all up. If you have, um, if you have lime, it tastes really good. I did I forgot to buy lime. But if I if you have some lime, you can add lime to it. You do not have to add um, sour cream. I just like it. You want to stir that around for mom? Um you do not mm. have to add sour cream, but I do. And you can, the chip crumbles. Yes. You can also add in, um, some people might add in pico de gallo, or they might, might add in some chopped up, um, they might add in some chopped up jalapenos if they like it a little bit spicier, chopped up onions. Some people will also add cilantro. When I tell you I was bare bones in it tonight, I literally got an avocado. And sour cream, and I already had these at the house, so you can zhuzh it up as much as you like. But now you have a little bit of guacamole, but, and, the, but and it's not that good. Yes, it is. Nice, sweet, tastes good. Let me get a, Let me give you a fresh spoon. All right. All right. So now. <laughs> yes. Well, hey, let's put this seasoning in first. Okay. I'm going to save a little bit. Save a little bit. That sounds good. So really, this is literally how I make my seasoning or my um, chili um, meat or taco meat. I literally put it in a pan, add in a little bit of the seasoning, and I turn on the fire. Does it get any more difficult than that? 
or easy than that? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's much better whenever you just cook it in the pan. All right, you guys, so we now have dinner ready. We have some corn tortillas, some cheese. We have our ground beef, black beans. Everybody should invest in one of these things. It's a tortilla warmer. You can put your tortillas in here. I literally just throw those guys in the oven, um, like right on the rack, and, um, and warm them at 325 just so they're warm. But you know what, on Saturday mornings, this is great for putting in if you're making pancakes, if you're making um, French toast, anything like that, any bread that you wanna keep warm, these tortilla um, warmers are fantastic. There's our guac. So I get, I have some things that you may want to eat. There you go. All right, family. We'll say the blessing and then we will dig in. This is a very nice, quick, easy dinner that you can make for your family. Um, maybe it took me 20, 25 minutes, if that. Bon appetit.